for one Jervy Shore business owner. Inferno brought help after Sandy's high water vertical line. Fox News. Fox News Digital Network. Fox News. Fox Business. You report. Fox News Radio. Fox News Latino. Fox Nation. Fox News Insider. Login. Account. You're logged in as profile. Log out. Search site. Listen to Fox News Radio Live. On air now. On air personalities. Home. Video. Politics. U.S. Opinion. Entertainment. Tech. Science. Health. Travel. Lifestyle. World. Sports. On air. Previous slide. Next slide. U.S. Home. Crime. Terrorism. Economy. Immigration. Disasters. Military. Education. Environment. Scandals. Regions. Smarter America. For one Jervy Shore business owner, Inferno brought help after Sandy's high water. By Perry Chiora Monty published September 13, 2013, FoxNews.com. First responders survey the damage from Thursday's fire along the boardwalk in Searside Park, and JF Fox News Channel. The blaze severely damaged nearly 50 businesses with many not likely to be rebuilt. Fox News Channel. The local business damaged by Thursday's boardwalk fire in Searside Park, and JF Fox News Channel. The section of damaged boardwalk in Searside Park, then J after the fire ravaged nearly 50 businesses. Fox News Channel. Fox News Channel. Next slide Previous slide It took Timothy Hussey nearly a year to rebound after Superstorm Sandy wiped out his French fry stand on the Jersey Shore and left him homeless, epitomizing the Garden State's tenacious spirit in the face of the storm's devastation. He had finally clawed his way back, finding a new home and reopening Cutpurse French fries on the Seaside Park boardwalk. Then a fire struck on Thursday night, destroying his business and leaving him, once again, with nothing. All I have is my clothes. Everything is gone, Hussey told FoxNews.com a day after the fast-moving fire tore across the fabled boardwalk. The fire started so quick. There was no time. We've been through hell and high water. Timothy Hussey, owner of Cuphurst French Fries, Seaside Park, and Jay Boardwalk. Hussey had already lost most of the key summer season, spending it repairing his stand and finding an apartment. He had hoped to salvage a few good weekends before closing up for the season and hoped that 2014 brought a new beginning. Now, he feels like he's been put through the ringer and isn't sure what his future holds. We've been through hell and high water, he said. Literally. The high water was sandy and the hell is this fire. Hussey's resolve was tested thoroughly after Sandy slammed into the Jersey Shore October 29, 2012 killing more than 100 and leaving millions without power for weeks. His business was wrecked. He was evicted from his second-floor apartment a few months later, when his landlord decided damage to the first floor made the building a total loss. With nowhere to go, Hussey gathered most of his possessions and stored them in the space above his stand and at a friend's business nearby. To get by, Hussey stayed with family and friends moving around until he finally found a new apartment this past July. Hussey had finally gotten everything back to normal when the fire struck, destroying more than 50 businesses. What the storm spared a year ago, the fire took Thursday. Hussey lost everything from childhood mementos to all his credit cards. Even his birth certificate is gone. The utter destruction of the fire still hasn't hit Hussey. I'm fine emotionally, but I'm not sure how I'm going to feel down the road, he said. I've been there 17 years. Gut. Chris Christie said Friday that the fire was 95% contained and that state grants and loans could be made available to help businesses with recovery costs not covered by insurance. I will not permit all the work we've done over the last 10 months to be diminished or destroyed by what happened last night, Christie vowed. The fire broke out Thursday afternoon and, driven by strong winds and fueled by the tar roofs of pizza shops and arcades, quickly devour four blocks of boardwalk. The fire was finally brought to heel late Thursday night when firefighters dismantled the section of the boardwalk to cut off the blaze's fuel supply. On Friday many firefighters remained on the scene fighting remaining hot spots pouring thousands of gallons of water on the smoldering remnants of the fire. Images from the air show the once colorful area reduced to a monochromatic pile of charred dark gray rubble. Among the places wrecked was Buntown Pier, 